Hi, I'm Melissa Joe. This is Sean Priest from Arsis. Back in 2008, we did the Thrash and Burn tour together. Uh, Darkest Hour headlined. It was like a festival tour with oh, like nine, ten bands or something. <laughs> did a few shows and then I stopped playing with them for when they did Star for the Devil. And then I came back for the Dying Fetus tour in 2010. And then I joined after that and we did Unwelcome. So I've been with them officially since I think 2012, like as a full-time member. So when you did join, um, did you find it hard at all to pick up where other drummer left off? And was it uh, like hard for you to learn the stuff, or was it relatively easy for you to learn the material? Well, I had already played with them in two thousand. On that first tour I did with Arsis, like I had to do stuff with both of the drummers on okay. all their albums. So I had to do sure. like the Darren Seska stuff, and I had to do Van Dyne stuff, which are drastically different. And I, so I, I kind of feel like I have like my own style, and I kind of like merge the two to a degree because I feel like Darren's stuff was way too busy and just all over the place. Oh, he's nuts, man. <laughs> but to elaborate on that a little bit more, like the first album that I did was, was Unwelcome and the, and the Leper's Crest EP, which ended up being on the same album. And I feel like that was kind of a, like, a, I want to do really extreme, but not too technical. I want the guitars to kind of do their thing because Arsis is a guitar band, really. Like, people listen to Arsis for, for the guitars. I feel like I kind of like blended the, the two drummers that they had on all the other albums as best I could. So that's what I tried to do anyway. I don't know if it worked. <laughs> It's like a kind of shitty D-drum duo fade kit. Uh, it's the five, six piece, actually. I do eight, ten, eight, ten, twelve toms, 16 inch floor, use the DM5, uh, Roland sampler. We run samples and I play all the stuff to a click. Cool. Runs the samples out and stuff. Uh, kind of just a mixed bag of cymbals because I don't have an endo endorsement, so I just buy whatever. Like, I, I don't, I usually try and play Sabian, but <laughs> Axis pedals. Yeah, we don't do samples like in the songs, but we just do them for intros. Because mm -hmm. the albums have certain things that, you know, samples on the album. We want it to sound as close to the album as we can, which is impossible in venues like this, but, you know, we try. That's why we play to a click, too. Just, we want it to be, we want the fans to, like, bands that don't play to click sometimes will rush things so much and, and speed and slow things down. It's, I want it to be as close to the album as we can get it. Francisco, 
I think. And it was cool. There was like the whole crowd was drum thrones. So that, it was for Sick Drummer Magazine. Future of Arsis, I mean. We're just working on the new album now, and uh, like we played one song from it. Uh, we're hoping to get it done over the winter time, so and then go out and do some tours next year. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you. Hey, yeah, welcome. <laughs> Where, where are we at? I don't know, Frederick. Frederick? <laughs> Frederick, Maryland.